<laughs> Loads, where do I start? <laughs> uh, I've had lots of surprising things said to me over the years, um, some of which are not repeatable on camera. Many, many things, and I think you are taken back for a, for a few seconds when either comments are made or you hear something or you read something. I'm a chief executive and my name is Sam. Um, sometimes I get misgendered quite a lot, so the press will think I'm a man, I'm not a woman. And that's really surprised me, although I find that quite funny. A new member uh, in an authority said to me, uh, in the corridor, I've heard a ridiculous rumour. Someone told me that you're the chief executive. I've been told in the past that women can't be as tough, that they can't make those crucial decisions. And I said, why is, uh, I, oh, that's very interesting. Why do you think it's ridiculous? And he looked at me, it, it's a he, I gave that away, and said, well, you're too young and you're a girl. As long as you know what is right for your organisation, then you can be as tough as anybody else. My partner's a doctor and a woman and she would have often, you've done well for yourself haven't you love? Things that are said to you sometimes drive you to even be more successful or to help other people more. Don't let the doubters detract. A number of people have questioned whether I can be promoted and be a mum. A counsellor actually said to me when I was thinking about going for a chief exec's role that actually a chief exec should always be a male. Those words were kind of shocking, but even more shocking is because those came from a female counsellor. Generally speaking, if you walk the walk and you show that you are capable, actually it doesn't matter what gender you are. For crying out loud, it's 2020.